Hey guys, it's D Money Bala. Today I'm going to be answering the question, can I run a 1660 Super graphics card on the power supply that comes with the Acer Aspire? Now on the side of this power supply, it says uh, it will not exceed 300 watts. And I've used Newegg's uh, power supply calculator to see how many watts that a system like this would pull. And based on what kind of motherboard I have, it's anywhere between 267 to 297 watts. So that's getting really close to the limit. I may run it with just eight gigs of RAM and not the two terabyte spinning hard drive with just the NVMe to see if it can really be done. I've also got this, a SATA to eight pin power connector so that we can get up to 50 watts through SATA to the graphics card so that it can run at its full capacity. All right, so we're gonna take the side panel off and get into this computer. Uh, right now, I don't have my uh, CPU in this computer, so I'm gonna pull it off of the computer that I'm running in, and I'm going to be installing all of those components with this uh, default power supply. And you just pull on that tab and you're into the machine. Since I'm not going to be using the two terabyte hard drive that this came with, I'm gonna remove this just for ease of access. And either way, you gotta remove it to put your GPU on. I'm just gonna leave it out. So get rid of those two screws. It just comes right out like that and you're in. Okay, so you're gonna press down on this little thumb press there, it's gonna remove your CD drive. Then we're going to remove the faceplate by moving all three of these. It's gonna come right off. And then there are some screws in the front that we are going to unscrew and remove the CD drive so we've got more access to the motherboard. should do it. Then you should just be able to pull on this tab and out goes your CD drive. Keep rolling. And now we can see we've got full access to the motherboard. So we've got some excess thermal paste from where it was applied on the previous system. We're going to take some alcohol um, and we're going to get a paper towel or something and clean it off. There you go, Intel i5. So we're going to put the arrow, if you look on the, the lid, there should be an arrow there. So you make sure the arrows line up. You put that arrow corner in the corner there. And you've got your CPU mounted. Many of you doing this might not need to uh, mount your CPU, but if you ever do, that's how you do it. We're gonna remove the thermal paste from the cooler fan. If you are remounting your CPU from a different system, this is good practice. If not, you don't have to do this. This is just an extra step. You can skip forward and you can see the conclusion of if this power supply will run. Clean, no gloves. Good. Got some thermal paste. We're gonna be putting it on the CPU just to make sure she doesn't overheat. There we go. 
So we're going to connect our uh, cooler on. Um, should just fit on right there. And all those things. Only a fit. There you go. It's just a little difficult getting them all lined up. Tighten in a slow crisscrossing pattern. Because you don't want to get one side all the way tightened down before you get the other ones tightened down. That's how you put your CPU fan on if you ever have to do that again. So here's our 1660 Super. It's a two slot graphics card. So we've got two slots poked into the back of the hole there. So you poke both of those out so that it can breathe. Um, we're going to slot it in, making sure that this is pushed back. We're gonna slot it in and make sure everything aligns well. Gotta remove that latch, forgot about that. And then you just, you hear that click, it's placed into the case. So, now comes the fun part. It's where we connect this guy here. Well, first let's screw the GPU down. So we're gonna screw him down with these guys. your GPU down so it's not going anywhere. You can close up your latch. Oh, I should have done that before I screwed those in. Not bad. So you close your latch. And you're able to screw this in so the graphics card doesn't move anywhere on you. Now she's not going anywhere. So you should be good with just if you're if you have a six pin to SATA connector that just has one SATA connector, you should be good to just plug in the one. But mine's got two, so I'm going to use both of them. So I'm just gonna plug this guy in here and this guy in here. And that should give us enough power to power the graphics card. So let's test it. Cool, so now you can see that I've got my NVMe hard drive, my RAM, and my 1660 Super hooked up there. So we're going to put the face plate back on, put the side plate back on, and see if it boots up. It should, and it should run, but that's what this video is about, trying to figure out if this will work. Those. 
those bent. <laughs> bent a little sideways, those do come down. So there's the original PSU, and the GPU is running off of the SATA ports. Um, I'm going to show you the screen real quick, and that's it. Output here. It's running Linux distribution fine, and the output is coming off of the GPU and not the motherboard. That's where the display cables are plugged into the bottom graphics card, not the motherboard HDMI ports. So it does work. Thank you for watching the video. If you've liked it, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.